Would you ever train somebody to fight in the UFC or MMA? Or you're straight, you're straight boxing guy. I'm a straight boxing guy, but I mean, I ain't gonna teach y'all to do all that kicking the elbow and all that, but I will teach y'all to put them hands on it. What did my Conor McGregor say? Huh? You got good hands. You got good hands. They ain't boxing ready, but they all good hands. So, are you saying that, for example, for about a decade, um, Floyd Mayweather was hit and not be hit? And I, and I think, I think your question is almost like, you know, that maybe that it, it was a successful period under Mayweather. But there was a lot of young fighters down in 2010, and you're saying that we don't praise. Boxing poetry enough. We don't praise that. We don't. Pernell Whitaker, the we don't. Mayweather, the, that style, and we, we should go out there and praise it. Yeah. It's bad because mm. you take money out of this man's mouth because he's a pure boxer. Mm. So you paying him to do the opposite of what the sport says do. You want them to get on the football field and play rugby. Why was? But you were, you were lucky enough. You were lucky enough well, to be a great ways. boxer and a guy who could knock people out like that. Though. So that was that gave you me. Know? They gave me the opportunity to be able to entertain another way. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what they should learn to entertain a different way. Yeah. Make it fun beating a guy that's not even supposed to be in the ring. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I fight a guy that's not even of my caliber, I still make it fun. Fun. When I fought Ben Kelly, after about the sixth round, Ben Kelly wasn't on my level. So that's why I got to put my hand behind my back and make it fun and interesting. And now everybody does include Conor McGregor. Everybody goes behind the back of the Jackson Fury because, against Klitschko. Yeah. Because I did at a time when yeah. it could have been a boring night, yeah. but I got to find a way to entertain my fans. That's just who I am. But no one, no one will ever go like you did from middleweight to heavyweight. No, it won't be done again. <laughs> <laughs> no, who's going to do that? Who's going to do that? Is there anybody remind you of yourself today? A lot of guys remind me, a lot of, guys remind me of small parts of me. Yeah, what about Earl Spence? Huh? What about Earl Spence? I really have, haven't seen Earl Spence yet. I don't watch a lot of boxing. So you don't? No. Just well, I watch people I train. Uh, if I see a guy who has it, like Regan, I mean, like Regan Dow or like Lomachenko, if I see a guy that understands and has the, what I, the way I see it, I'm a down pat, I watch him. But most people I don't watch unless I hear that they're supposed to be good. Then I watch to see if you really are that good. Like Terry Crawford, he really is that good. So I'll give you one shot when I hear about it when I get the opportunity. But I don't go out seeking just to watch boxing because it's too much of what you say. Too much of that crowd entertainer. You hit me, I hit you, and everybody think, oh, he's the best guy in boxing. No, he's not. He's a cancer to boxing. But did you enjoy Leo Santa Cruz against Carl Fenton? Of course. Are you looking forward to the rematch? Yeah. Okay. Because they're boxers and fighters, yes, aren't they? Yes, they're smart boxers and they, they got that kill. They know when it's time to kill. Mm. They know when that thing is there. There comes a the time. They know when that time is. That's why I got to get this one to know. Do you think Fenton will beat Santa Cruz the second time? I don't know. It's a tough one to call. I don't know. It all depends on who mentally came out of that fight the best. And they know better than we know because they're in there. We don't know. So he mentally came out feeling like he was ahead or heading to the upper, the, the, the momentum shift. Whoever had the momentum shift at the end should win the fight. Can I ask one more question and I'll shut up everyone? Sorry. Can I ask you what you think about James to get a matchup with Badu Jack as well? That's a really good matchup, but I think Badu Jack is a little bit more powerful than the girl, but we'll see. Because the girl has some really good skills. Yeah, he got some really good skills, so we'll see. Uh, it's going to be an interesting fight because the girl has so much to offer. And I like the girl because he's, he's, not, he's ever changing. You understand? So that's going to be a really good fight. Who do you pick in that one, Isaac? I think, I think it's going to be a tough fight. I, mean, I haven't uh, seen much of uh, Jack in that fight, but I think uh, the girl is good enough to defeat him, to what I've seen him in. Um, when he fought uh, recent duty, he showed that he's got power and he can box, so I think he's going to, he's going to win the fight. Chilemba, so it's just safe to say that we will be seeing you um, triple up on your hooks, put your hands behind your back. But are we going to see something like that? <laughs> you definitely see all of that. <laughs> yeah, really. If, if, if the opportunity comes, you'll do something like that. You're... Of course, yeah. That's why I'm here. I'm here to come with you. I'm trying to show you what I have. And I believe I've picked up my game to the next level. So I've got much more fun. You're not going to see Roy Jones Jr. in me, but you're going to see some of Roy Jones' 
uh, shadow in this arsenal. What would you say was the first thing that impressed you now being with uh, Roy from, from him, his behalf? What impressed you from him? Uh, he's not the type of guy who says no. You're doing that wrong, don't do that. No. He's the type of guy who says no. Or you're doing that, do it this way. Try to do it this way. And if it doesn't work, leave it. If it works, let's go somewhere. And you're, you're supposed to, um, or Alvarez, who you fought in a close fight earlier this year, is supposed to fight the Donald Stevenson early next year. So who do you think wins that fight? I don't know. Still, I don't know what Stevenson is doing. Uh, he hasn't fought in a kind of opponent in a while. I don't know what's going on this side. So, and, um, uh, Alvarez also hasn't been active since then, but I mean, just I expect something huge to happen after the fight. And, uh, nothing much so, so they will be the inactive fighters. Uh, uh, talking about Stevenson, so I think it's 39 now. So, I don't know. What do you think of Alvarez? I mean, a lot of people thought you won that fight. Uh, listen, in that inner fight, I had to defend myself. I was completely really going in my head. But uh, talking about it, he's a smart father. Uh, he can think a little, he can move a little. Uh, well, on the other hand, Stevenson, I think he can cry a lot. So, uh, it would We're talking about the guys that to me are considered inactive fighters. So, we'll see if that happens.